take a walk just over here. Mm. You've got nice shoes on. And And it was, so I, I did a deal with the, the note holder on the property and myself, and we had one lawyer. And the deal was, um, you know, we weren't going to say anything. And then a couple days after that, John Schreiner phoned me. John's a, a wine re a reviewer and uh, writer in Vancouver. And I knew him in my previous career. He used to be a business writer. And, and he said, I understand you bought the Blackhawk. I said, come on, John, how'd you find out? <laughs> you know, and I said, we all agreed not to say anything. And he said, well, that's what I do for a living. I said, are you going to plant Syrah? And I said, John, come on, man, I've owned it for two days. I'm going <laughs> to analyze it and, and stuff. And, and he said, okay. And, and uh, several months later, he phoned me up again. He said, I'm just curious, John, are you going to plant Syrah on that property? And... and So if we're doing something lesser, tell me, and 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 you know just just keep my foot to the fire, and, and let's really aim as highly as we can. Uh, in year one, he said, so here's your first big test, and I said, what's that? And he said, one of the biggest problems in wine, <coughs> or the biggest problem in wine, is hygiene. And hygiene, any problem with hygiene, is transferred. sharing of girls. And if you've got something in your wine and you, uh, you send your barrels, it's going in that barrel to the guys. To the next. So what I would strongly suggest you do is call my staff and get my dog taken back to the wine. <laughs> There's a youthful expression of fruit that can handle new oak. So I never, ever, ever have worked with a, with a winery from scratch and have been able to advise them this, but because you are and everything is going to be brand new, um, I never want you to ever bring someone else's oak into your winery. Mm -hmm. So in your first vintage, start with 100% new French oak. And I said, okay, is, yeah, I'll trust you on this. So it was like 1350 bucks a barrel. And the next year I sold them all to Papa Grove to Tony for 350 bucks a barrel. And, but, so we bought Sega Moreau 100% that year. Mm -hmm. And Alain came and he rated every clone of every variety with that Cooper. And then year two, it was 100% new French oak again, but it was 50% Sori and 50% Seg Amarillo, and he compared the two. Same thing. Year, t year three, it was 100% new French oak. It was, 30 or it, was, it was a third Seg Amarillo, a third Sori, and a third, Bel we introduced Bel Air. And so, so at the end of the third year, he said, we've done 25 years Cooper due diligence in three. Yeah. Mm. So now I have a constant record of, of where, and sometimes they tweak. So what we do now is, is we'll introduce a small lot just to, just to see, like we've introduced Natalier it, for our cavern and discovered, like we, we had one barrel with each of the varieties and discovered it just was awesome with the cab, nothing else. So, but it's, it's, it's quite different. So we only use like two of the 15 barrels or Natalie, because it imparts just something that's just glorious, a brightness. And it only needs the two. Um, and the same applies, who else? Uh, 100, 100, 100, to 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, where, where it's working. So let's start with, and, and it's amazing to taste it. I said, well, in the past, we've used a couple drops of Arabic gum. Uh, in the past, we've done a small fining. We've only done that once. Um, we said, those are good options. This was like five, four or five years ago. He said, this year it's, it was with the Merlot. And he said, it's 
5% Malbec. <laughs> and, and it polished it perfectly. It just opened it up just in that one place. It didn't really change anything else. But let's, now, every variety that we do at Painted Rock is 100%. That, we, we, we don't, there is no Malbec in my, in my Merlot. There's no anything because there is a very, all those roots have reached the grounds and there's a very distinct terroir message that I just want continuity and I don't want to be, again, it's no homogenization, it's respecting kind of the consumer and the pressure. Can I that? I'll go get some. Let's start with a little bit of D block Merlot here. Can you tell us? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you